This is Win News. Tonight, a man accused of allegedly stabbing his sister's partner in court. A Harvey Bay home gutted by fire. King tides cause severe erosion on Urangan Beach. Good evening also tonight to Harvey Bay Monument, restored after it was ruined by vandals. But first, a 21-year-old man has faced court after allegedly stabbing his sister's partner in Bundaberg last night. The case was adjourned until tomorrow and the defendant was remanded in custody. Police were called to the McElwraith Street premises around 8pm last night. Today, a 21-year-old man faced the Bundaberg Magistrates Court in custody, facing charges of unlawful wounding after allegedly stabbing his sister's partner. Police prosecutor Barry Stevens told the court the defendant and the male victim were arguing throughout the day. The court heard the defendant had warned the victim to calm down, but the victim would not stop arguing with him, so he stabbed him. Sergeant Stevens told the court the victim the victim was stabbed in the abdomen with a black-handled switchblade, causing a 10-centimetre cut which had penetrated all levels of skin but was unlikely to be deep. The victim was treated at the Bundaberg Base Hospital and was released a short time later. But defence lawyer Craig Ryan told the court his client only acted because of domestic violence perpetrated against a family member. He says the victim had been physically abusing his sister and before the alleged incident he had warned his brother he would stop him. Magistrate Deborah Vasta adjourned the matter to tomorrow to gather more information before deciding whether the defendant should be granted bail or not. Emily McHoward, Win News. Harvey Bay St Peter statue undergoes repairs after being targeted by vandals and paramedics urge locals to keep cool as the weather continues. Next. Welcome back to Win Local News. Harvey Bay statue of St Peter's finally been repaired after vandals cut parts of it off in August. The statue was imported from Italy and displays the name of people from the region who've been lost at sea since the early 1900s. Less than a month after it was unveiled at the Urangan Boat Harbour, its hand was sliced and its nose broken off. No one's been charged over the vandalism and police are still appealing for witnesses. Paramedics are urging locals to put safety first as sizzling summer temperatures continue to soar. Wide Bay crews responded to five cases of heat-related illness on Saturday alone. Now for a quick look at the weather, here's Corinne. Thanks, Paul. Another hot day throughout the region. Thankfully, slightly cooler to what we saw on the weekend, where temps were up to 11 degrees above average. Bundy today reaching 34 degrees. It'll be cloudy with scattered showers tomorrow. I'll have the forecast shortly. Corinne, thank you for that. Sports now with David and Joss Brillanti still searching that elusive first A-League goal. He certainly is, Paul. Nice haircut. Good thank evening you. to you. The Bundy... Something's changed about you too. We'll figure it out after the break. I don't know what it is. The Bundy across the Waves Junior came close against the Perth Glory. We'll have more on that soon. Plus, tiny totals as local cricketers battle the scorching heat. Hi, I'm the new guy. Deborah Messing and Dermot Mulroney in The Wedding Date. Where did you find him? Yellow Pages. Tonight, 9.30 on Win. Australia's biggest ever tile sale is on now at Beaumont's. With big, beautiful savings on every single tile. Floors, walls. Porcelains, mosaics. Bathroomware bargains too. Wow. Don't miss Australia's biggest ever tile sale. Beautiful Beaumont's, beautiful. Hey, hey, wait, wait for me! <laughs> I get it. Go the hot number. Don't miss Oslotto's huge $10 million jackpot. Will your numbers bring you a truckload of cash this Tuesday? Guys! It takes the right gear to survive out here. There she is. Ferris. It's the best gear around. Strong as an ox. Safe as houses. Our back is one powerful beast. Awesome. Four-wheel suspension handles whatever Mother Nature throws at you. Designed to take the hard out of hard work and deliver all the power you could need. So if you want to tackle the great outdoors, get yourself a Ferris. Aria nominee Russell Morris, Shark Mouth. Now comes the collector's edition with the making of Shark Mouth DVD. Russell Morris, the blues have never been better.
Don't lug your computer all over town? Call AMS Computers Mobile Home Repair Service. We come to you. Phone 415 for fast professional computer repairs in your own home or business. Call AMS Computer Services now. Kensington Street, Bundaberg. Meet your mates at the Met. Sit back and relax with a cool drink or coffee. Pick any day of the week and they're serving great value. A full menu is available. Dine in a friendly atmosphere with excellent service. On Friday nights, you can get a 300 gram rump steak for $15. So bring your family, bring your mates for a great night out with cash giveaways and live entertainment. Check the Facebook page for entertainment details. The Metro Hotel. Meet your mates at the Met. Wednesday, the source of the control. We won't survive the final episodes. Need hostages. Wednesday, 8.30 on win. Good evening, welcome back. Cricket to start and Country Wests have kick-started their 2014 Bundy Premiership campaign with a major upset. Last year's Wooden Spooners toppled Norths, chasing down the 110-run total in just 28 overs. There you have it. That is the night in sport done and dusted. Paul, back to you. Dave, thank you for that indeed. Stay with us because the Wide Bay weather details are around the corner with Kareem. Good evening. Well, temperatures still well above average across the region today. Thankfully, though, some reprieve compared to the weekend. Expect showers tomorrow with the chance of a storm and it'll be considerably cooler, particularly throughout the South Burnett. Here's a look at temperatures across the region today. Bundy, a top of 34 degrees. Still a scorcher for Monto, 38 today. 39 for Gainda, that's six above the seasonal average. Sandy Cape, 31 degrees today. 35 for Mirabara, four above the seasonal average. Rainbow Beach, 33 today. 36 for Kingaroy and still hot for Gympie, 38 degrees. On the charts, there's some cloud over Tasmania that's associated with a complex low-pressure system. Now, a trophic stands from the Gulf Country uh, through the central highlands to the Darling Downs, so we're seeing very uh, warm and unstable air to its east, so still very hot across much of the state today. And some severe thunderstorm warnings were issued uh, for the southeast coast, parts of the central highlands, the Wide Bay and the Darling Downs. In fact, some roofs were ripped off of Grantham uh, this afternoon with those severe storms. Now, the inland trough will begin to move west tomorrow and another surface trough will move north into southeast overnight so tomorrow isolated showers for the southeast these will be mostly near the coast though and good news some relief from that heat wave it'll be cooler for the south and the southeast tomorrow some showers and storms for eastern districts look these will be mostly inland between Cairns and Mackay and also for the central interior and northern districts here's the local forecast for tomorrow it'll be partly cloudy we're looking at scattered showers and some isolated storms, uh, as well as light winds that will become east uh, to southeasterly as well, uh, 15 to 25 kilometres per hour in the morning. Temperatures tomorrow, Bundy is headed for a top of 31 degrees, showers the chance of a storm. Similar for the bay, looking at a top of 30 degrees for tomorrow. Showers and the chance of a storm for Meribara, 29, 30 for Gympie, much uh, cooler than today. Kingaroy, a top of 30 degrees, some morning storms and showers tomorrow. On the waters now, we're looking at northerlies, 10 to 15 knots, but they will become variable about 10 knots before dawn and then becoming southeasterly, 15 to 20 for midday. Exactly what we wanted to hear. Winds are reaching up to 25 knots, though, inshore in the evening. Seas are below one metre, looking at 1.5 for the afternoon and then two metres later in the evening. We've got an east to southeasterly, around one metre for that swell. Uh, tidal diary, 3.3 metres for that high tide for Harvey Bay, uh, around quarter past one in the afternoon. Uh, low tide, 10 to seven. For Burnett Heads, we've got high tide just after one. Now watch that extreme UV again tomorrow. Uh, for the best surf break, check out Agnes Water tomorrow and a safe spot for a swim, head to Double Island Point. Now tomorrow we've got sun up just after five, sunset at a quarter to seven. And now the outlook for the next seven days. Shower on the chance of a storm atop of 31 for Bundy tomorrow. Much cooler for Wednesday, 29 degrees. Shower and the chance of a storm at this stage by Thursday. Just the morning shower or two, so clearing for the rest of the day, 29 degrees. And then 29, partly cloudy to round off the working week. For Saturday, we've got a warm day though on the way. It's looking at a top of 30 degrees at this stage, partly cloudy as well. So much cooler uh, for Wednesday so we look forward to that. Enjoy the rest of your evening. It is back to you Paul and Dave.
Corinne, thank you for that. Thank you for your company tonight as well. As always, you can follow the Win News team. You can go to our website or Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date. Still haven't worked out what's different, whether it's you or something. I don't know. You'll figure it out one day. Join us again tomorrow night, will you, at the new time of 7 o'clock. From us, good night. Good night. Presentation from WIN, Australia's number one regional television network.